Okay, hello everyone. Uh, it's HLMC here, another media referral. Uh, it's been a few weeks, but I'm hoping to do a few more uh, frequent videos. And um, yeah, I'd appreciate the uh, the like and the uh, subscribe. Um, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so this week uh, I want to refer a book onto you all. Um, I've been reading uh, the very popular book by Jesse Burton. Uh, it's called The House of Fortune. Um, this is not Jesse Burton's first book. Jesse came to fame uh, with The Miniaturist, which she published in 2014. Uh, it's a fantastic book. I really recommend it as a first read. Uh, this is a sequel to this book, uh, to The Miniaturist. Uh, the Miniaturist, uh, as I say, was published in 2014. It uh, sold over a mini, million units. And the book subsequently uh, became a BBC TV show. So it got turned into a, a TV show. And um, the book's had huge fame. It's um, made it onto the Sunday Times bestseller list. Um, also the New, New York Times bestseller list. So um, yeah, definitely recommend The Miniaturist. Um, but since 2014, now in 2022, uh, The House of Fortune has just been published. Um, and it follows on from The Miniaturist um, with all of the familiar characters but now with the emergence of the now 18 year old Thea Brandt and the story is based around her and her coming of age. Um, and the book, it's, it says Jesse Burton is known to do with her writing. It's a very easy flowing novel to read. It's enjoyable. The pages just seem to go by. This is a, a 400 page book, but it doesn't feel like a 400 page book. I've read it in about three days. So yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's enjoyable and I do recommend it. Um, the book has everything that the miniaturist had in that it talked about fortune, fame, ambition, life not quite going to plan, um, the need and the want to control uh, one's destiny. Um, so this is all apparent again around this uh, emerging character of Thea. Uh, the story again is based in Amsterdam in the 1700s. I won't drop any spoilers, um, but much the same again, it's a, it's a female journey. It has elements of race politics, um, uh, gender politics, financial freedom, a female's financial freedom, um, the growing awareness of the concept of love and how to view it. Um, and it's just thoroughly enjoyable. So I do recommend picking this up. Um, I've been lucky enough uh, to pick up a copy from Waters Waterstones in the UK and they are known from time to time to do signed editions. So my one has been um, very nicely signed by Jessie herself. So I have the uh, signature there. So if these are still available, I do recommend getting hold of a copy and just keeping out in general for Waterstones and other bookseller signed editions. Um, if you're unfortunate to miss out on your chance on the signed edition. I'm sure there's plenty available on, on eBay where people are selling them on. So definitely grab yourself one. Um, but yeah, short and sweet. So I'll leave it there, but I do recommend giving this a read. And um, yeah, if you can share your thoughts on the book in the comments below and uh, give me a follow on Twitter as well, that'd be appreciated. Um, and then hopefully next time I can be back fairly soon with another video. And uh, as time goes on, build the confidence and uh, improve the production value. Um, but this, like all YouTubers, have to start somewhere. So this is a humble start and uh, please stick with me. It is appreciated. Thank you and goodbye. Bye-bye.